Hi everyone, and this is the sad news to the people of Africa uh, around the globe that uh, Dr. Hagi Gengop, the president of the Republic of Namibia, has passed away. Condolences to the nation of Namibia and the African people. Strength to all the people of Africa and the entire family. Uh, Lest is a son of Africa. Hag Gengop will be remembered for his strength and uh, one of the things that will remember him is the time uh, he told of German politician and former uh, speaker on the German parliament uh, for lecturing us about Chinese presence. In there is in, in, uh, in Namibia, for example, the number of Chinese people living here in the meantime is four times as much as, for example, the German uh, community. And in so far, it's not precisely the same what takes place all over the world. There are differences. And what I'm. Mr. Speaker, yes. what is your problem with that? Why does it become your problem? <laughs> it, looks, it looks like it's a more European problem than our problem. Yeah. You are so sorry for us. <laughs> I don't see Chinese will never come and play around here as Germans not allowed to do that, which Germans are doing by the way. You talk about Chinese, we allow Germans to come offer visas here. Red carpet. Our people are harassed in Germany. Even diplomatic passport holders. In Germany. And you come in here, Germans come in here as they want. So why Chinese talk about Germans? How you are treating us there? Chinese don't treat us like that. Diplomatic passport, we will handle our own country. Don't be sorry for us. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Every time a Westerner comes, it's about Chinese. Him. Uh, Dr. Gengop uh, going uh, going to US uh, for cancer treatment uh, last month. But at the end of the day, God has chosen to take him, uh, let us uh, pray for him and his soul rest in peace and in power. My term as the president of the Republic of Namibia, the land of the brave, is coming to an end in 22 months time, on March 21st, 2025. When I was saying that with some other African countries, they're not happy. Why do you announce you want to go do it quietly? <laughs> but uh, we have a social contract with the people. And if we can know that you are there to serve and go, as President Mandela did, uh, overstaying the welcome, you eventually put you in. So, term limits that we have, I'm very happy and I'm proudly announcing that my term, my contract, social contract with my people is ending very soon. But I still have two years to go. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Those who are hungry this side, they should know I still have two years and I can do a lot of things. I'm therefore delighted to be here to facilitate our partnership with the people of South Africa. I thank my dear brother, President Ramaphosa, for the kind invitation and honor of the state. I'm really touched in this building. Those of us who were fighting against apartheid come to this building and be received by your comrades and to plan ahead. I'm really touched and thank you very much for the reception. Today we are indeed in a new dawn, as my dear brother, President Ramaphosa, always said. As we marshal our nations in this new dawn of hope, promise, we cannot take for granted the honor of following in the giant footsteps of Chief Dori, the Watambo, Uar Bolim, Nelson Mandela, Captain Andrew Bedford, Jacob Douglas, Sam Nioma, and many others. 
They united the torch of liberation struggle to carry the painful weight of personal sacrifice for us to enjoy our freedoms in an independent, free, and non-racial society.